hopping off that bus. It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Thanks very much. Now, D'Angelo Russell says he patterns his game after another crafty lefty. He said, if I could model my game after somebody, it would be Manu Ginobili. He was never the most athletic, but he could pass, he could score, and he was just so unpredictable. Not a bad role model for D'Lo. Kevin? Not at all. Yeah, some similarities definitely there, David. Thank you. So the New York starting five. Aaron Gordon out there with Jokic. Then it's De'Aaron Fox. Then there's Marion. And it's Beal in at the two spot. And for the Celtics, they've got Jared Allen. Rajon Rondo is out there with Allen. And it's Garnett. And it's the Wizard in at the small forward. Well, as somebody who grew up in New York and New Jersey, I was a Knicks fan, right? They have such a great history. Think back to the championship team of the 70s. Walt Clyde Frazier, then the Patrick Ewing era, Bernard King. They have had so many Hall of Famers. From 18 feet away, doesn't go for him. So the Celtics will take it the other way. And Doris, growing up around New York, what makes this Knicks franchise so special? Well, I think certainly the energy. Here's Rondo. And the layup's good off the glass. If he's one thing, he's efficient in the paint. Rondo really good with the positioning there close to the basket. In mobile one. And it's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. That's a great beginning. A team out of the playoffs to a team chasing the title. Now here's Rondo. A game against Oklahoma City. Very impressive. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. And with Aaron Gordon leaving Orlando. Greg, how would you think that deal worked out for him? Kevin, I think the change of scenery was great for Gordon. Taking on more of a complimentary role and getting more. Guy at the rim. But that is a beautiful contest right there. And now the fast break. Rondo with the ball. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And an important part of every team's game. We'll look at the hustle stats for the Celtics. They're really mucking things up for the opposition. Racking up steals. Time out. This game coming after a loss against the Jays. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Well, the kind of low energy effort they played with all night will make a coach absolutely crazy. You can't win if you don't play quality defense. Outside Bogdanovich. Puts it up from 12. He gets it in there. We're seeing some fireworks from them. Garnett outside. Over Green. And Garnett with the basket on the assist by Rondo. Rondo's got pitch with that incredible vision. Quickly spots the open man. Russell against Westbrook. Left side, low. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Celtics lead by 13. Right against Rondo. 
Right, looking around. Off target with his three. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing, the ability to alter shots on the perimeter. That was beautiful. And, and you know, few guys play their role better than Bogdanovich. And, and by that, I mean he's often exceeding expectations. All forward position. And there's the pass to Markinen. Boston needs to get off a shot. Or three. Westbrook sinks the three pointer. Westbrook's got five now. You love the quickness that Russell Westbrook gets into in the catch and shoot opportunities. Rise and fire, young sir. Jokic kicks to Barry. Shoots over Markinen, and Marion gets John it to go. Marion. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is absolutely essential Ooh. trying to win on the road. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. First, the Wizard is checked in for Olenek. First Allen comes in for Bogdanovich. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Russell Westbrook. The Celtics shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And take a look back at last season and, and what a season it was for them from the free throw line. 82% he has his head on a swivel. Here's Marion. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Jared Allen, and for a lot of up-and-coming teams, that being considered, what's the first step in that improvement? A lot of times, it's bringing in a great defender, like a Pat Beverly or an Andre Iguodala, a defensive anchor who also... Tipped away. Rondo with the steal. And now the fast break. Rondo with the ball. Count that one. And how good is Rondo? In terms of the focus at the rim, doesn't matter how much contact there is, he's just got that ability to that The Knicks making a switch here. Green's check in. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe, killing him on the interior. Knocks it loose. Down low. And it's sent back by Allen. Boy, you've got to watch those long arms of Jared Allen twice on the pipe. Send it back. And that bucket, a wide open opportunity. Westbrook passes to Bogdanovich. Boston again missing. And it's right with the ball for New York. Right side, Russell. And there's 37 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is five on the shot clock from the arc. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Second personal foul. Yeah, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. The Celtics have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. Allen at the line for three shots. That's good from Ray Allen. He hits the second from the line. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And he makes all three. Fox will bring it up for New York. They get a hand on it. Rondo with the steal. Over Fox. Allen passes to Garnett. And it's good. Two points. 30 points for Garnett. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. I like their defense tonight, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. I think it's also important. David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking on the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. Measures not just makes or misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right directly Beal. Now here's Rondo. He's got 21. Allen passes to Rondo. Back to Allen. Out to the right wing. Here's Garnett. And it's Boston with another. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem. 
Here's Fox. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Well, I think it's fair to say that Fox is in the zone right now. An exciting player to watch. I just love seeing how he can take over a game with his aggressiveness. Here's Westbrook. Pass to Olenek. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists in the game. Jack passes to Fox. Field goal number nine. He's nine of 12 with that basket. And he gives up pounds to a lot of guys defending him, but that has never kept Fox from being in attack mode. That pass was about the location. Puts it perfect. Abaka looking for an opening. Fox from outside. Westbrook with the block. Wow, Russell Westbrook, when he's engaged defensively, he can send it back. And that one good. Astro Olenek. Isn't it great? The NBA is becoming a global product. As more games are scheduled overseas. Doors, any locations you'd like to go to call a game? Maybe you and I could do a game in the Bahamas. How, how does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Kevin. If they're tipping it up, I'd love to be there. And think about it. Beyond the travel and the opportunity to see the world, the opportunity to expose new fans to this game that we love so much, certainly not something to take lightly. Here's Markinen, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And here is Igudala. And even with the ratings going strong, the younger generations often cord cut. How does the NBA engage that audience? Kevin, I think making game action trend on social media and when big moments happen for a, maybe a small fee, allow people to be a part of it. It's like highlights, Jenny but and one of the stories of the second has is for great shots, and they're hitting them. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Boston. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And now for the year, this is going to take him to... Right wing. Here's Griffin. Off the mark there with a three-point shot. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it. And we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Kevin, when you win a game like tonight, what kind of positive things are confirmed? Uh, that we can fight through and beat any team in the league if we're playing well. So for us to get this win here, our six man is our crowd. They've been great. They packed the house tonight, and we got uh, a big win against a team that's you know, right up there with the top teams in the league. You did it all together tonight, Kevin. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying...